Hello students, let's do fractions, exercise 3b. We are on page number 49 and with question 4. Compare. So we're going to learn to compare fractions and there are three ways of doing it. Let's follow the question carefully and understand it and work out accordingly. Compare the given fractions by making the denominators equal. So this is the first way we're going to do it by making the denominators equal. We're going to compare these two fractions. We have 2 by 5 and 4 by 9. Comparing it means finding out which is greater or which is smaller. So let's write down the two fractions. So we have 2 by 5 and 4 by 9. Now the first thing we need to do is look at the denominators. Now can you see that the denominators are 5 and 9? They are different. That means these are unlike fractions. So if we have to make the denominators equal, we have to find the LCM of the denominators. So let's do that. Let's find the LCM of the denominators 5 and 9. So 5 and 9, the LCM we're going to find, we're going to divide this by 5. 5 ones are 5 and then we bring down 9 as it is. Now we're going to use 3. 3 1 and 3 threes are 9. Continue again with 3. 1 and 3 ones are 3. Now the LCM will be 5 into 3 into 3. So this will be 5 into 3 threes are 9. So this is 5 into 9. 5 nines are 45. So this is our LCM and this we are going to use as the new denominator now because we have made the denominators equal. So now this is 45. The denominator here is 45 and the denominator here also is 45. That means 5 has now become 45 and 9 has now become 45. So we are going to find the new numerators now. So 5 into, look at the first fraction, 5 into 9 is 45. So multiply 2 also by 9. 2 9s are 18. So we have got our first fraction. So next one, 9 into 5 is 45. So multiply 4 also into 5. 4 5s are 20. So we've got our second fraction, 20 by 45. So the first one is 18 by 45 and the second one is 20 by 45. Now, when the denominators are the same, the greater numerator is the greater fraction. So when denominators are the same, look at the numerators, 18 and 20. 20 is greater, so that means this fraction, 20 by 45, is greater. Now, if you can see, 20 by 45 is 4 by 9. 4 by 9, we made it 20 by 45, isn't it? And 2 by 5 is 18 by 45. So, in your final step, you have to go back to the question that was given to you. So, 2 by 5 and 4 by 9. So, which is greater? 4 by 9 is greater. So, this is how we do when you have to make the denominators equal. Find the LCM of the denominators. Get your new numerators. And then find out which is a greater fraction by looking at the numerators. Let's go to the next one. Question 2. 5 by 7 and 8 by 11. So let's write that down first. 5 by 7 and 8 by 11. We're going to make the denominators equal. So let's find the LCM of the denominators. 7 and 11. So starting with 7. 7 ones are 7. We bring down 11 as it is. Now we continue with 11. 1 and 11 ones are 11. So what is our LCM? Our LCM is 7 into 11. 7 11 are 77. So this is the LCM that we are going to use. So let's go back to the question. The denominators have now become 77. It's equal. Now the denominators are equal. Look at the first fraction. The denominator is 7. 7 into 11 is 77. So multiply 5 also by 11. 5 11s are 55. Now go to the next fraction, the denominator is 11. 11 into what is 77? 11 sevens are 77. So 8 into 7. 8 sevens are 56. So now we have two fractions, 55 by 77 and 56 by 77. We have made the denominators equal. Now look at the numerators, 55 and 56, which is greater. 56 is greater. So this is the greater fraction. So let's go back to the question. Question is 5 by 7 and 8 by 11. 
and now we know that 8 by 11 is greater than 5 by 7. Question 3. 7 by 15 and 9 by 20. So let's write that down. 7 by 15 and 9 by 20. Now we have to make the denominators equal. So let's find the LCM of 15 and 20. So we can start with 5. 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20. Now we can use 3. 3 ones are 3 and I bring down 4. Now I can go to 2. I can use 2. 1 and 2 twos are 4. I can continue with 2. 1 and 2 ones are 2. So now my LCM will be equal to 5 into 3 into 2 into 2. So let's multiply this. 5 threes are 15. 15 into 2 is 30. 30 into 2 is 60. So what is my LCM? My LCM is 60. We're going to use that as the common denominator here. So the first fraction denominator is 60. The second fraction also denominator is 60. So now let's go to the first fraction. Question given here 7 by 15. Denominator is 15. 15 into what is 60? 15 into 4. So let's write that. 15 into 4 is 60. That means I have to multiply 7 also by 4. 7 into 4 is 28. Let's go to the next fraction. Denominator is 20. 20 into 3 is 60. So I multiply 9 also by 3. So what do we get? 9 threes are 27. So now the denominators are the same. Let's look at the numerators. 28 and 27. Which is the greater one? 28 is greater. That means this is the fraction that's greater. 28 by 60 is greater. Let's write down what's given in the question. 7 by 15 and 9 by 20. So now we know that 7 by 15 is greater than 9 by 20. Question 5. Compare the given fractions by making the numerators equal. So again, we're going to compare fractions, but this time we're going to make the numerators equal. So here, let's write down 4 by 9 and 2 by 5. So let's write down the fractions. 4 by 9, 2 by 5. Now we have to look at the numerators. We're going to make the numerators equal. So what are our numerators? We have 4 and 2. They're different, so we're going to find the LCM of the numerators. So let's do that. We have 4 and 2. Now let's divide with 2. 2 twos are 4. 2 ones are 2. And then we continue to divide with 2. 2 ones are 2. And this we bring down. So what is our LCM? Our LCM is 2 into 2. 2 twos are 4. So the LCM is 4. And this is going to be our numerators. So the first fraction, the numerator is 4. Second fraction, also the numerator is 4. Now we have to get our denominators. So look at the numerator. 4 into 1 is 4. So multiply 9 also by 1. So that is 9 itself. Then second fraction, 2 into what is 4? 2 twos are 4. So multiply the denominator also by 2. 5 twos are 10. So now we have two fractions, 4 by 9 and 4 by 10. Now let's be careful here. When the numerators are the same, the smaller denominator is the greater fraction. It's a reverse. Okay, so let's say that again. When numerators are the same, the smaller denominator is the greater fraction. It makes it the greater fraction. So 4 by 9 is greater than 4 by 10. So let's write that. 4 by 9 is greater than 4 by 10. So let's write the question. That what's given to us in the question is, 4 by 9 and 2 by 5. So we know, as we have found out now, that 4 by 9 is greater. Question 2, 5 by 12 and 8 by 19. So let's write that down. 5 by 12 and 8 by 19. So here we are going to make the numerators equal. Let's take the numerators 5 and 8 and let's Find the LCM, so 5, let's begin with 5, 5 ones are 5, we write down 8. Now we can continue with 2, 1, 2 fours are 8, continue with 2 again, 1 and 2 twos are 4, then again continue with 2, 1 and 1. 
So what is our LCM? Our LCM is 5 into 2 into 2 into 2. So let's multiply that. 5 twos are 10, 10 twos are 20, and 20 twos are 40. So what is our LCM? Our LCM is 40. So that is going to be our new numerators. So 40 is the first numerator. 40 is the second numerator also. So now, as you know, 5 has now become 40, isn't it? So we're going to continue. 5 has become 40. 5 into what is 40? 5 into 8 is 40. 5 eighths are 40. So let's multiply 12 also by 8. So let's do that. 12 into 8. 8 twos are 16. Carry 1. 8 ones are 8 plus 1, 9. So the denominator for the first fraction is 96. Now let's go to the second fraction. The numerator is 8. 8 into 5 is 40. So multiply 9 or 19 also by 5. So 19 into 5. 5 nines are 45. Carry 4. 5 ones are 5 plus 4 is 9. 95. So the denominator here is 95. So now our numerators are the same. 40 and 40. Our denominators are 96 and 95. Now this denominator, the greater denominator, will make the smaller fraction. When numerators are the same, the greater denominator will make the smaller fraction. That means 95 is greater than 96 in this case. Okay, so this fraction 40 by 95 is greater than 40 by 96. So let's write down the question 5 by 12 and 8 by 19 and we just found out that 8 by 19 is greater than 5 by 12. Question 3. 5 by 7. Let's write that. 5 by 7 and 9 by 14. So we have to make the numerators equal. So 5 and 9 are the two numerators. Let's use 5. 5 ones are 5 and then we bring down 9. This time I use 3. 1 and 3 threes are 9. Again, I continue with 3. So 1 and 1. So what is my LCM? LCM will be 5 into 3 into 3. So let's multiply that and get our answer. 5 threes are 15. 15 threes are 45. So what is the LCM? The LCM is 45. It is going to become the common numerators. So for the first fraction, the LCM is 45. The numerator and second fraction also, the numerator is 45. So this is the LCM that we are using. Now let's go to the first fraction. 5 into 9 is 45. So let's multiply 7 into 9. 7 nines are 63. 7 nines are 63. Let's go to the second fraction. 9 fives are 45. So we have to multiply 14 also into 5. 14 into 5 is 70. So now we have two fractions here, 45 by 63 and 45 by 70. Numerators are the same, so the smaller denominator is the greater fraction. So 45 by 63 is greater. This is greater. So let's write down the question, 5 by 7 and 9 by 14 and 5 by 7 is greater. Question 6. Compare the given fractions by the cross multiplication method. So this is a third method. So first we made the denominators equal and we compared. Then we made the numerators equal and compared. Now we're going to compare by cross multiplication method 2 by 5 and 4 by 9. So let's write that. 2 by 5, 4 by 9. Now what do we mean by cross multiplication? We are going to multiply 2 and 9. Okay? And 5 and 4. So first 2 and 9. 2 nines are 18. Now we have to multiply 4 and 5. So 4 into 5 or 5 into 4 is 20. So in this, the first number that we got, 18, represents the first fraction and 20 represents the second fraction. So in this, which is the greater number, 18 or 20? 20 is greater, isn't it? Now, since 20 is greater than 18, we go back to the question, 4 by 9 is greater than 2 by 5. So, let's write that. So, let's write 2 by 5 and 4 by 9. 
and say that this is greater. So 4 by 9 is greater than 2 by 5. Second one, again, we have to do cross multiplication. So let's write down the fractions. So I have 3 by 8 and 6 by 11. Now what are we going to multiply? Cross multiplication is numerator of one fraction and denominator of the other fraction. So 3 into 11. How much is 3 into 11? 3 11s are 33. And the next one is 6 into 8 or 8 into 6. 8 6s are 48. Now look at the two numbers, 33 and 48. As you can see, 48 is greater. Now, 33 represents the first fraction, 48 represents the second fraction. That means 6 by 11 is greater than 3 by 8. So let's write that down. 3 by 8 here and 6 by 11. 6 by 11 is greater than 3 by 8. Question 3. 5 by 18. So let's write that down. 5 by 18 and 11 by 21. So we're doing the cross multiplication method. So numerator of one fraction into denominator of the other fraction. So we're going to cross multiply these two. That is 21 into 5. So let's multiply 21 into 5. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 105. So the first one that we've got is 105. Now we're going to multiply 18 into 11. Cross multiply 18 into 11. Let's multiply and see 18 into 11. So 1 eighths are 8, 1 ones are 1. Similarly, 1 into 18 is 18. Let's add this up, 8, 9, and 1, 198. So the second answer that we got is 198, and that is greater than 105. So let's go back to the question. The question is 5 by 18 by 11 by 21. And the greater fraction is 11 by 21. So this is how we do comparison by the cross multiplication method. So we'll stop with this for now children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.